I long so much to make beautiful things, but beautiful things require effort and disappointment and perseverance. Vincent van Gogh We have been enjoying some beautiful spring days here in North Texas, though for all of the days I've been able to go out so far, it has been sunny with no clouds which makes it difficult for me to get the kind of photos I like. I love that sentiment recorded by Vincent in a letter to his brother Theo, because I truly understand those emotions. I've been trying to put in the effort to go out for photography, but there is definitely some disappointment sometimes, when the weather isn't just right or when my attempts are not working out. But I do have the desire and determination to keep going. When it's bright and sunny, I try to find subjects in shady areas. Or I try to isolate my subject against a darker background, like those trees in the background. But if I have to shoot with my lens facing the bright blue sky, I'll use my lens hood to help block out any lens flare. And I'll work to expose the image just enough to not overexpose the highlights. And then I use a soft bright vignette in the edit. Last year I purchased a lens baby lens to try out because of some recommendations in comments on my videos. Since I enjoy soft out of focus backgrounds and selective focus areas in my macro or close up images, I certainly understand the suggestions for these lenses. I chose the Sol 45 because of the price and also because I figured I would enjoy playing with the tilt shift feature. It also has two adjustable bokeh blades, but I have not played with that feature yet. First I tried the lens by itself and then I added a compatible set of three macro filters to help me get closer to my subjects. This lens has a big learning curve for me anyway, and will require time and patience to figure out. I haven't got it yet, but I'm hunting it and fighting for it. I want something serious, something fresh, something with soul in it. Onward, onward, Vincent van Gogh. Obviously he was speaking of painting, but again the creative concept of what he was thinking and expressing here is so relatable. As I was scanning these dwarf daffodils to find a composition for a photo, I noticed this little lonesome daffodil and decided that this one would be interesting to get an image of. I would love to hear from all of you. If you wish, please comment below and let's have a conversation about your creative journey where you are right now in your creative progress and what you are trying to improve on. For me, I felt like I was hitting my stride as 2020 started. And then when everything changed after we couldn't go out for a while, my vision shifted and my priorities changed. In 2021, the teaching opportunities I had further changed my vision and focus. While studying for a presentation I gave, I realized I wanted to pursue the practice of drawing and painting more. 
something I let lapse over the years before I began photography. I have now begun focusing less on getting quality images for a photography portfolio and more on capturing photos I can use as reference for drawing and painting. Over the next weeks and months, I'll try to share more about that journey here. These sweet little white-throated sparrows were jumping and hopping around repeatedly. I think they were stirring up some insects that were settled on the ground. The Sol 45 lens baby has a unique bokeh effect, but I think I prefer adding the macro filters and playing with close-up captures. Red bud trees are such a challenging subject for me, another one of those often tried, always failed subjects, but they sure are pretty in spring. Once again, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for coming along with me on another photo walk. For the great doesn't happen through impulse alone and is a succession of little things that are brought together. Vincent van Gogh See you next time.